I'm gonna be real with you guys. Um, after last episode, it just got to a point where it was so peak that I don't know if I can be satisfied with what's to come next because although I'm loving this show so far, what we got last episode was an absolute dream come true. And I just hope to be just as excited to watch these episodes, but what we had last episode was so good and so enjoyable. I'm worried these next few episodes will not even come close in terms of the hype factor. But uh, I do understand you have to keep fan service and story separate. I am just a sucker for Hayden Christensen, the Clone Wars, and again, Ahsoka, that dynamic in their relationship. But I also understand that's not what this show is about, and I was enjoying the show beforehand, and there's still a lot of surprises that could yet you know be shown so with all that being said your latest reaction to ahsoka starts now damn i never thought we would go through hyperspace through different galaxies in wales oh how star wars has come Present my archive memory would you like to hear one let's hear one not right now come on Perhaps ahsoka you have I love her new headpiece. There's something I didn't No war. I know and Ezra. No Ezra. Yeah. The Sabine. It was the only choice. That's a good line. A long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. A galaxy oh! far, far away. Yo, what? They said the thing. That's that's really cool. That's cool. Fitting. See what you did there. Y'all cooked with that episode title. Would you be cut off from the force if you went to a different galaxy? I wonder if that's a thing. Hey! <clears throat> we had a deal. I don't know why you thought they would go with the deal. I mean, bro did kind of seem like a homie. Destroids, bro. It's so crazy, we're in a different galaxy, bro. Oh my god, it's Hoth with rings. That is what? The ancient homeworld of my ancestors, the Dathomiri. The Jedi archives. Oh. This place. So, Dathomirians, or Dathomirans, whatever they're called, they're from a different galaxy. That's pretty cool. We are receiving a. There's a joke to be had there. I will not go to those depths. Man, why are you always mean mugging? You're a different galaxy. Stop staring, bro. Yo, what? Yeah, this looks like a place witches would live. That's a pretty cool ship, though, you gotta admit. So has Ezra and like Thrawn just been like playing chess and stuff or Oh hello. Let's see. I legit thought they were gonna play 2001 Space Odyssey right there. Oh my god. Why did I think this planet was just gonna be abandoned? Well you. And you came as Their voices Thrawn are so cool. Where is Thrawn? You gonna tie her up, a little space rope. Oh my god, I thought they were gonna make her walk fuck to her death down a pit. I didn't know there were stairs there. When I was a bit older than you are now, I watched everything I knew burn. Mm. Order 66. The Jedi Temple? Won't our alliance with Thrawn finally break the cycle? Bring us into power. Oh. Okay, that's the difference between I saw the power is fleeting. Finally bring this cycle to an end. All right, there we go. In the beginning. What if he's just gonna like Aaron Yeager this and just like burn it all down? Like the only way to break the wheel is to literally break the wheel. Or I should say the only way to fix the wheel is to break the wheel. That kind of mentality. Bro, you need to snort some midichlorians if you want to do that. I like this parallel. She's like, I thought I'd get a room with a view. She's got a view now. Oh, Ahsoka's here. Oh, never mind. That is not Ahsoka. 
Oh, oh my god. That is not a Soka or a Star Whale. Alright, uh, looks all beat up and broken. How did he get a Star Destroyer though? Are you serious? Man, people like myself really take for granted how big these ships are. Oh. Hello there. What the? F Who is that? There he is. A soundtrack. Heir to the Empire. Oh, I know those Rebels fans are like screaming right now. I know that voice, bro. I know that voice is making you all, making you all so happy. Soon we shall balance go. Off the Jedi order. Yup, he's a general. He knows that name. Yep. <laughs> it's like, God damn it. Not this blue fuck again. So that's it. You're just gonna let me walk out of here? <laughs> Where are you gonna go? My course. And that belief. You wouldn't understand. Dude, I like this guy. He's such a cool villain already. So Thrawn, Thrawn, Thrawn is like a homie too. He's pretty chill with it. So you help me, I'll help you. It's that simple. I'm excited to see what he did that was so bad in Rebels. Your weapons. Bro, they all chill. Hell yeah. What the? They chill. They the homies. Die well. Bro's a homie. Man, Thrawn's so cool. She is on a fool's errand. Indeed. Oh. Destroy them both. Oh. He did. He did say, I will give you the opportunity. But that's it. After after I give you the information, we back to square one. So he's still he's still chill. When she said I was you're sending her on a false errand, I thought he, she was saying like he lied to her. But no. My my comment still stands. So how long has it been since Ezra supposedly died or disappeared? Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, now it's serious. Wait, <laughs> you have to begin with, bro. <laughs> I don't think iOS 17 is going to fix that. Should we not send more troops to support them? No. <laughs> Killing this exile on two squads will suffice. Bro, he did not like that comment. <laughs> it's a rock. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Ooh. The hell is that? He's a symbol on her chest or her shoulder, maybe? Yeah, I knew it. He was going to recognize that. Oh, dude! Ezra has his own army of turtle people. Comes from a breed of Vulcan Jedi trained in the wild after the temple fell. Vulcan Jedi. So what does he consider her then? The idea of it. That's fair. Not the truth. The weakness. His music is so good. Look, this is Ezra. We're eating him. I knew I could count on you. Oh shit. Yo. So, sure took you long enough. It worked, didn't it? Uh, about that. <laughs> didn't it? Oh, it's so wholesome, dude. Can't wait to go home. Okay, bro is definitely dying. Oh wait, maybe they said that because she's gonna be like, "Yeah, we can't go home." Could it be the recently deceased Sokatana? Can't 
impossible. Damn. I beyond you. Thunder felt her master everything. Yes, Grand Admiral. Her master? Um. It's a star whale approaches Peridia. Soundtrack going crazy. That was a good episode. It's a good episode. We got Ezra back. I guess not really we, because that was my first time really seeing him outside of like clips. But that's so cool. That's so cool. I bet you guys never thought you'd ever see Ezra again. I'm, I'm happy for you, Rebel Sands. There you all go. There is my episode six reaction to Ahsoka. So Grand Admiral Thrawn has returned, or in my case, my very first time, maybe not seeing him. I've seen Grand Admiral Thrawn. I know what he looks like. I knew he was an you know, Imperial, all that good stuff. I just never watched Rebels, so I don't have the full context. I know who Ezra is, and we also had the return of Ezra Bridger. I didn't spend much time with these characters before watching Ahsoka. Like I said, I never watched Rebels. I only saw clips. I had a few of you, you know, asking, how do you know who Kanan is, but don't know like where he is or how do you know who uh, what the world between worlds is but you don't know what this is so like because I'm gonna just say it again I've seen clips I've seen screenshots I know who these characters are I just don't know how their story is wrapped up I don't know how Rebels ends I don't know how it starts and I don't know the middle and I'm really excited to see these characters return just because as a Star Wars fan I know how exciting it is to see something that you grew up with or something from so long ago be brought back into the story like Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I know as someone who watched Rebels, you must be so excited to see these characters adapted into live action. And I know that's scary going from animation to live action, but I think it's really fun in the in this particular case because it is written by Dave Filoni. And maybe not every episode, but the characters Dave Filoni was involved with is he's also involved with the show. And I think that's very important when adapting characters from animation to live action. I was really worried that Grand Admiral Thrawn was going to be goofy in live action almost just because of the nature of his character, you know, blue, red eyes and like slick back hair or whatever. And I think the actor here, who I know is the original voice actor too, so that's really cool. He did a really good job at portraying a very articulate and menacing character that knows what he's talking about. I just really like that he's also a homie. He's like, all right, you help me, I'll help you. Go do your thing. And I really appreciate that. So yeah, Grand Admiral Thrawn. He, he's a homie. I do also want to bring up that it was really cool to explore a literal galaxy far, far away and have that line incorporated into the show. It was a very fun moment and it's cool to not just throw a random planet into the mix either. You're also expanding Star Wars' lore with including the original homeworld of the Dathomir, you know, the witches. And I think that is a really cool idea. And I don't know if this planet has ever been mentioned before in Rebels or Clone Wars. I'm not remembering this planet name all that much or and I know we haven't been to it, but uh, regardless, it was a really cool idea. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Let me know what your favorite moment was down in the comments below. And if you want to be notified every single time I upload a new Star Wars reaction or a Soka reaction, don't forget to hit that notification bell. And uh, I'll see you all in a galaxy far, far away. Subscribe to Zang Heroes for some more unbreakable content.